I came to be introduced back in 2012 to the Council of Senior International Attorneys by my boss, Doug Hagram, and our general counsel. And Doug had had very good experience participating in the Chief Legal Officers Council here at the conference board, suggested that I attend, and the comment that I made to him when I came back from the first meeting was, oh my, I can't believe it, there's a whole room of people who have exactly the job that I have, who face exactly the challenges that I face. It's a, it's a complex job. Uh, it's the job of knowing what's going on all around the world from an ethics standpoint, from a regulatory standpoint, from a protectionist government standpoint, and, and trying to support your business to grow and keep your business out of trouble. I treasure the discussion that we have at the council, uh, and I treasure the fact that people are not um, reluctant to share information about their company because we operate under Chatham House rules. So I can use the information that I get, I simply don't attribute it to any given company. The discussion that we have uh, at, at, at two different points during our council meetings about what's on your plate, what are you dealing with now, um, allows those issues to come and rise to the surface. Sometimes there's a member of the council who's already started to pursue a solution. Sometimes we decide as a group that we want to bring in expertise from the outside as one of our speakers for a future council meeting. Um, but that, that being able to, to sift through everything that floods us and actually get to the big issues and the timely issues is worth a ton. So we're all under, under cost pressure. We have to figure out what's the most efficient, effective way of protecting our companies and trying to help our companies grow revenue and grow profits. And so the discussions that we have amongst ourselves about how do you organize, how do you use technology to enhance the communication amongst your team members, how to communicate with your team members, these are things that we all can discuss. And the people who participate in the council are senior, have been doing this job for a long time, and so they come and they willingly share a lot of that information. Why, why do I think that giving up a day and a half of my time to come to council meetings twice a year is, a, is an important thing to do? Because if I can jump start getting an answer, identifying issues, and getting a jump start on solutions, I save incredible time I don't put our business under, under tremendous pressure to comply with the new EU data protection rules, you know, in a six month period of time when finding and discussing it now, I can have two years notice. That's the value. That's the tremendous value that makes it worthwhile to spend a day and a half with this group of people twice a year.